Hello everyone, this is Strawberry Shorty here with Natalie Brooks, Secrets of Treasure House. I know basically nothing about this game, whether it is hidden object or something else, so let's just get started. It's been so long since I've been home, yet nothing has changed. The same old train station. Finally, home sweet home. Hmm, who's that? The gate is closed. Well, I'm off to a good start. I remember my granny used to hide the key under the rose. This is Natalie Brooks, the heroine of this story. Her comments and suggestions can be very useful. This is Natalie's notebook. She writes down her ideas and thoughts in it. To close the diary, click to either the right or left of it. I arrived just fine, but saw a strange man clothed in black at the gate. This is just a recap. My cursor is tripping out for some reason. I hope it is not tripping out for you guys in the video. A stick. I need to watch out for splinters. The inventory contains all of the items Natalie finds. This is an object with which you can interact. Use it on the brick. Because we're using the stick on the brick. Nope, apparently not. What am I using on the brick? Okay, it worked that time. Ah, here's the hiding place. I should move the stone so I don't trip over it. Well, I was trying to move it. Half of a postcard. Interesting. I think it's a piece of a painting, but which one? Gosh, I wish I could stop my controller from doing this. I need the key. This can't be opened with a bobby pin. My family mansion. My family has owned it for 300 years. So many things happened over the years. Granny planted it when she was just a little girl. This is an unusual fence. Granny told me the stones for it were brought over from Italy. Put it back? No, I don't want to get dirty. The bushes seem to be cut. I guess that's just an examined thing, then. Once my younger brother tried to squeeze through the gate, his pants got caught and he just hung there the whole day until my granny found him. I planted this tree seven years ago and called it Steve. Hi, Stevie. How are you? Is it Steve or Stevie? Blossoms used to be carved into the wall, but now part of the stone carving is missing. I believe there's no one home. I like that we have a talkative protagonist. I already like her more than most of our protagonist people. Okay, let's grab the key. It's a gate key, truly antique. They don't make them like this anymore. Granny kept losing the keys, so she hid them in here. Welcome home. I like this art. Grandma just loved her orchard. I guess the gardener still takes care of it. The same squeaky stairs. Just look at these letters. I guess Granny didn't read her mail too often. Use these tips if you don't know what to do, but remember, you have a limited number of tips. Click on it. I have a limited number, I don't want to click on it. <laughs> this map of the city will be useful. I think it's just because I'm recording my cursor is glitching out like this. This is a map of the city. It marks Natalie's location. Click on it. I would click on it easier if I could see my cursor. A beautiful old house and a charming orchard, just like when I was a child. It seems nothing has changed. Even the gate key is in the same secret place. I thought you said it was under the roses. I don't think it was under any roses. My younger brother painted that. He loves flowers.
This is my grandpa. He commissioned this statue from a Dutch sculpture. Your grandpa doesn't have a face. He posed for it for almost a month, but the statue doesn't look anything like him. This looks like a real photo with some lady. This is my dear granny. Granny bought these at a flea market in Frankfurt, Germany before I was born. It's strange that none of them are broken after so many years. An old broken mirror. I always wanted to throw it away, but Granny wouldn't let me. I got a postcard piece. Another postcard. Grandpa got this in Paris. He told us it belonged to Vincent Van Gogh, but I didn't believe him. Yeah. Dear Miss Brooks, I've been your grandmother's lawyer and close friend for many years. This is why she appointed me to be her lawyer. Recent tragic events require that I settle the issues related to her inheritance. As you already know, according to her will, you are to become the owner of the house and the property within it. Please accept my warmest congratulations. However, I must also give you a certain item. Please visit my office at your earliest convenience. Sincerely yours, Henry Edison. I need to call him and arrange a meeting. Where's the phone? I guess we can't examine any of this stuff. Oh my gosh, I wish my cursor was not losing its mind. It's making me manually dial the phone. It's a weird phone number. Hi, my name is Natalie Brooks. I received your letter. What letter? Why are you calling? You wrote that my granny left something for me? Oh right, I remember now. Come and get it, but be quick. My office is a repository for lost luggage. I'll come right away. Where are you? On the corner of Mon Bulls. Hello? Hello? Ah, oh, the battery must be dead. Piece of junk. I need to take a cab, but I don't have any money. I'm sure there's some around here somewhere. You came here with no money? There's that postcard piece. Alright, got it. be another postcard piece. Hmm. Why do we look for this money? Wait. I knew there was another one of those here somewhere. Another piece of a large painting. I thought it was a postcard. Gosh, where do I find the money? <sighs> Clicking on her, but nothing is happening. <sighs> I was hoping there'd be something for the cursor here. I might have to mess with my recording settings after this. Oh, wait, money. Thank you, grandfather. I've always been able to count on you. All right, I'm on my way. Was he truly rude or was it all in my head? I wonder what my grandma left me. He was rude. He was very unpleasant. Come in, come in. I've been waiting for you. Hi. Here's the box your granny asked me to give you. I found a letter from Henry Edison, Grandma's lawyer. He wants me to come by his office and pick up a box Grandma left for me. Interesting. Yep. Yeah. I want to examine things. Alright, let's see. Do you have any information about the mansion? The animation looks so weird. No, what are you talking about? The government is going to build a highway, and it will cross through your living room. But how is that possible? Don't worry, you'll be moved to a better place. Probably. What can I do to stop this? If we file a petition against the demolition, and if the members of the city council sign it, then they won't be able to legally demolish your house. So I have a chance. I can't lose my house. It means so much to my family. Do you happen to have a petition I can use? 
I have one somewhere. I can't remember where I put it, though. Anyway, that's your problem, so take care of it yourself. I'm busy. This is the amulet Natalie inherited from her grandmother. Its purpose isn't clear yet, but you might need it to solve this mystery. What a strange thing. Do you think it'll match my evening dress? He does not care. The magnifying glass indicates the activation of search mode. If you complete a special task, you'll earn an extra tip. Click on it. To start looking for items, click the building with a magnifying glass. I guess this is a hidden object scene. To leave the search mode, press the cancel button. Uh, why is it saying a time thing? I have to find the items listed below. And I think I'm being timed. If you find all the items with a certain period of time, you'll earn two hints. You can click on the map at any time to look for the items you need in another location. No, oh, this is a lot of pressure. Can you find the remote control? Grape, boot, fish socket. Band, scales. It's a lot of pressure. Oh, I randomly found something. There's the grapes. Fish fan scales. I can't see anything. It's because my cursor is doing a thing. There's a fan. There's a fish. Where are the scales? There's a time limit. I don't want to be too crazy with the clicking. Oh my gosh. It's panic inducing. Still better hidden object games than Queen of Spades, though. Oh, ice cream cone. I have freaking scales. <laughs> My gosh, I do not see them. Apparently can't use hints here. That's not a good thing. It told me something, but I don't remember what it was. Or I didn't see it. That's not good either. Well, now I have to click the next building with a magnifying glass to continue to search there. He turned into a computer monitor. Okay, ladle, peach soccer ball. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that was a volleyball. Little watch vacuum cleaner. Ah! I win? Tips can be found on each level. Do you see the question mark? Click it. That's tiny. Ugh, I could spend a lifetime going through the contents of this table. This is a desk. Probably Persian. Urn? Loud rock music will do a better job of waking him up than coffee. He doesn't like me, and if I start poking through his trash, he'll throw me out. Seriously, why is he called an urn? It seems he doesn't like me. Oh well. His phone is much older than the one I have at home, and yet it works while mine is out of order. What a nice sunny day. I love it. So many papers. I guess Mr. Edison does work a lot. I wonder if he has the curse of Montezuma. I'd like to play it. Miss Brooks, what are you doing? Don't poke around in my drawers. Close by, I swear. Laws, codes, regulatory acts, and a lot of dust. Has anybody ever opened them? She resembles my law professor at the university. Femita? What's Femita? Sorbonne University, Harvard. Boring. That's a nice collection of classics, but what kind of music makes me sleepy? I thought we were looking for a petition. We are apparently not. 
Who's here? Oh, what a nice parrot. Such a small cage. It's cruel to hold birds captive. Form... Yeah, stupid bear cats. Oh, I found a postcard piece. What's that? An Egyptian Pokemon? Did she just make a Pokemon reference? The Rogers file, the Williams file, the best comics of 2007? Hmm. Now I feel there should be more pieces. Binoculars? What for? I wouldn't like living near his house. Hey, I found another piece. But that might mean there's one more. Yep, there's another piece here. Oh, wait, I see it. We got it. So, I guess we're gonna blare rock music? This seems like a bad idea. on. I think rock music will do the trick. Now it's turned on. Now what? An ordinary electric socket. Don't put metal objects inside of it. Well now what? Classic lawyer music is soothing. Sweet dreams, grumpy old lawyer. Okay. He's snoring like the hippopotamus. Uh, does the hippopotamus snore? Closed. Could the petition be in one of them? These are the wrong keys. Are they? Okay. It booted me out. No, I wanted to keep looking in there. How annoying. I think I heard something tinkle. Something has fallen out of the cage. It looks like a key, but it's very dirty. I don't know, some of this logic is a little bizarre. Ah, here's the key. Move the lock catches in a way that will lock them in the center? What does this mean? Okay. I think it's just a memory thing. Wonder. Oh, that's just the same thing as before. It doesn't say what's inside, but I don't think that's what I'm looking for. That's it. Now I need to give it to Mr. Edison to sign. So, I guess we have to use the rock music now. Nope. Rock music? Ah, turn it off. find it? Did you poke around in my drawers while I was sleeping? How could I? Well, okay. I need your signature, Miss Brooks. Take your petition and go away. You're wasting my time, which isn't cheap. What a grouch. Why would Grandma make him her lawyer? Alright, I need to collect the signatures. I'll probably start with the banker. Taxi!
Unfortunately, we'll have to cancel our meeting. Good afternoon. What can I do for you, miss? I'm very busy. Oh my gosh, these animations. They probably should have just made them cartoon characters. I just want you to sign one document. They're going to demolish my house to make room for a highway. You're a member of the city council. If you sign my petition against the demolition, it'll help me save my house. Did you know your granny owed the bank a great deal of money? What? I had no idea. And her debt hasn't been repaid. If you pay off her debt right now, I'll gladly sign your petition. Can I have an extension on the repayment and get you the and get you to sign my petition anyway? Don't even think about it. Besides, I told you I'm busy. Stock coders will arrive any minute now, and I can't find something very important to me. I need to convince him to give me more time. A table, an ordinary table, also known as a desk. An ordinary, very expensive table. It's here somewhere. Everything blends together. Oh yes, my first dollar. I can still remember the day that I earned it. It was autumn and I was selling newspapers. I sold my first issue early in the morning. At 7 o'clock? Maybe you should try to set this time on the money box. By the way, there's no alternative. Oh my gosh. Safe key. I keep it there. I feel like you shouldn't be telling me that. I was going to repair the window, but the price drop for Chinese toothpicks distracted me. Yes, it's peeled off. I should call a repairman. I can't open it. There's no handle, and I'm not using my nails. We have two screwdrivers. Done, and there's no need to call a repairman. Do you want me to jump? I'm upset, but not that much. How did we open this? He's so upset, poor man. Just a boring list of shareholders and information about the stock exchange. Parker, probably. I heard NASA invented scotch tape to patch holes in spaceships. That's tasteless. It's from a buckster. What's a buckster? It's an award for bankers. Hiding something behind a picture is so predictable. This isn't funny. My lucky tie is very important, but I've lost it. Well, I see it right there. But I'm a little more focused on finding the last piece of that. Thing. What a disaster. Mr. Edison told me the administration is going to demolish my house because some genius thought it was a good idea to build a highway there. I can't believe it. Now I need to collect all the signatures. The signatures of all the members of the city council to stop the demolition. I hope that will stop the construction of the road, too. If only Grandma could see what's going on. There's got to be another piece here somewhere. Oh, there it is. I thought I was a post-it. Clicked on that like six times. Oh, I missed what she said. That's disappointing. Key. Well, I guess this is for this. Found the key, but I need to dial the code. The lock seems to be broken. Should I unscrew it and have a look at what's wrong? Oh, this is a... Uh... It's a very weird system here. Aha! Now I see the wires are broken. I should bind them together again. Done. Now it has to work. First I should close the cover. I don't know the combination to the safe. How do I find the combination to the safe? Should I do these? I'm still not entirely sure what I get from these. Oh my gosh. This is kind of ridiculous. It's items everywhere. Button, glasses. Alright. On that. Oh my gosh, there's so much stuff here. Shaver. Macaroni. Look at the cute little house. And the pig has sunglasses on. Oh, apparently those were an item. What the frick is this bizarre looking thing? Okay, that was clearly a bad idea. 
Seriously, what is this thing? Deodorant? Player, ashtray, axe. Oh my goodness, I'm having trouble finding a lot of these. I don't know what I just picked up, but it was apparently an item I needed. Oh my gosh. Yeah, it's kind of annoying that you can't that there's no hint system here. I guess that's not a soccer- I guess this is a soccer player. Oh my gosh, where is the shaver? I'm still not sure I'm actually getting anything useful from these. Watch, we're back here. Ice cream, I remember that one. Brush, I know I saw that brush here somewhere. I'm gonna control, I remember. Videotape. Jeez, that scares me. Oh. It seems that spot was painted over on purpose. How do I unpaint it over? A bucket with water, but I don't want to clean the windows. Gosh, the water is cold. What's that, a code? Do you think I should hide it better? It looks like a code for a safe. That's not very secretive, Mr. Miller. 5791. Saving up for a rainy day, I see. He's scaring me. I better get his tie. Here, take it. This tie is my lucky charm. I wouldn't be able to strike a deal without it. Hurry, hurry, money loves speed, but I'll give you a grace period. By the way, you can go to Ron Goldberg, the jeweler. He's an old friend of your grandmother's and might be able to help. Help? I have no other options. I'll have to go to Goldberg. I'm probably gonna end it here. Well, after we get to the next scene, because I don't want to risk it ending on a map. As soon as we get through whatever dialogue is waiting. The light is off. Is the store open today at all? Hello? Anybody here? I can't see a thing. Where's the light switch? My first visit was to Max Miller, a banker. Millionaires are so funny. He was so upset about losing his lucky tie that he didn't even want to talk. But then he told me Grandma owed the bank a lot of money and that he would only sign the petition after I paid her debt. I did some quick calculations. If I work as a waitress, it will take me 176 years to make up the money. I think I should come up with another way. So, we are going to end this part here. Um, an interesting game so far, if a little strange. I'm kind of curious to see where it goes. But, uh, leave a comment if you're enjoying this. Let me know what you think. And, uh, bye for now.